Welcome to the AACS Daily News. The Greater Attleboro Relay for Life will hold a kickoff event for this year's fundraiser at the Attleboro Arts Museum. There are some changes coming to this year's summer event, and to learn more, we spoke with a representative. My name is Larry Kessler, and I'm a uh, member of the Relay for Life of Greater Attleboro. This uh, year, our kickoff is going to be held from 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, Thursday, February 22nd at the Attleboro Arts Museum. We're kicking off for, for the event, but the event itself is going to be held Saturday, June 8th, from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m at Norton High School. Those of you who have done Relay before, this is our 26th year, but this is going to be a big change this this year in that we are not doing an overnight event for a lot of reasons, but mainly since, since COVID, we've had a dwindling uh, number of teams and participation, and we're trying to get a lot of events that are going to be family friendly. During and right after COVID, we kind of took a hit, um, both in terms of personnel, but also in terms of money, of, of, of course. It's important because there's a lot of services that the Cancer Society provides the cancer patients and the families, like uh, rides to and from appointments, lodging is offered when, when necessary, um, and just a lot of support groups and, and just a lot of other things that directly go to the patients and not to mention research for, for life-saving drugs. By having this kickoff, we are going to share information about the reimagined event, the 12-hour daytime event. We will take registrations for people. We also are going to award those who raised the most money from last year's. But there's two really special events at the Arts Museum exhibits. They will be on full display during the event so people can come and just walk around and, and, and see that too. So it's a combination of relay night and also like a night to celebrate the arts. I'm Mim Brooks Fawcett. I'm the executive director and chief curator at the Attleboro Arts Museum. And I'm really pleased to host the kickoff at the Attleboro Arts Museum. And just as Larry has said, it's on the 22nd. We're looking forward to welcoming uh, returning folks who have had teams, longstanding teams, but then to also bring in new audiences. And I've always been uh, very dedicated to the concept of creating awareness. So the creating and the creative end of it, bringing the museum and what its mission is um, and marrying that with awareness to particular causes. Uh, and, and I think that this is a perfect blend. Uh, having the kickoff on one side of our Otmar Gallery that night and then having an exhibition on the other side is just sort of a, a visual example of how um, the two can live together and benefit from one another. Um, while the kickoff is going on, the exhibition that I'm, I'm referring to is a contemporary narrative. And that is a show that takes examples from our permanent collection from a sub collection within the greater um, holdings of Civil War memorabilia, those items are being explored and responded to with visual imagery from nine different Black artists. So it's Black History Month this month. Um, the theme for Black History Month it, this year is African Americans in the Arts. It's a perfect way for us to honor the month and the theme and to show uh, not only Attleboro, but all of our visitors, pieces from our permanent collection. And that show, again, will be up while the kickoff is going on. We also have artwork in our community gallery that night from students who have been inspired by the industrial designer, um, fine artist, Victor Schreckengost. So Victor's work, his watercolors of cityscapes have been used as the muse for young students. So all of that creativity is helping to bring in community and create awareness ultimately for the Relay for Life kickoff. The kickoff is open to anybody who's interested in finding out about Relay. The Relay for Life, Life of Great Attleboro includes all the Attleboro area towns. You're more than welcome to, uh, to, to come and find out how to be a member of a team, how to form a team, um, and individuals on the, on the day uh, both the kickoff and the event are encouraged to come to, 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 to be a part of it.